In this video, I'm going to be covering how to use a repeat block. If I press start simulation here, you'll see this LED blinking four times and then pausing and then looping infinitely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, this icon here to go to the dashboard. Then just make sure you're on circuits, choose create new circuit. And then I'm going to title this um, repeat block. And then I'm going to go to um, components here, this drop down menu, and I'll choose Arduino under starters. I'll select the blink preset. I'll drop it into my canvas. And I'll um, click on my code here. And I'm actually going to delete all of this information here. And I'm going to start from scratch. And we could use the built-in LED, but um, I'm going to make it so that it's using a different pin. So I'm going to delete this wire. And then I'll click once, and I'll use any other pin. I'll use pin 8 for this one. And just so you know, you can change the colors of your wire here by clicking on this drop-down menu with it being selected. And you can change whatever color you want. So I can change this to orange. I'll make it orange for now. And um, what I want to do is I want to make this LED blink multiple times, pause, and then um, loop over and over and over. And so you could do this by um, manually um, throwing in one of these blocks, setting the specific pin to 8 so you can control pin 8, and then turn on your LED through this block right here, go to control, and then have this wait, and then duplicate this, and then set this to low, and then um, made it, make it wake wait again and um, so again you can just take this and duplicate it as many times as you want but let's say we wanted this uh, LED to blink a hundred times and then pause so you can see that would be very tedious to take this copy this and paste it uh, um, 99 times for a total of a hundred um, so there's actually a better way to do this and to do that we would use this block right here this repeat block so then I can throw the contents that I want repeated which is this right here and then right here, you can see that it's going to repeat this 10 times. So it's going to turn on and off 10 times. And if we were to simulate this, um, watching that light turn on and off will be um, really boring and slow. So what we're going to do is we're going to change our unit from uh, one second to this new unit right here called milliseconds. And milliseconds here, there are a thousand milliseconds per second. So if I wanted this to uh, turn on for, let's say, a quarter of a second, that would be... 250 milliseconds and let's say I want to turn this off for a quarter of a second 250 milliseconds and so let's say I wanted this to blink um, four times really fast so this is going to loop um, four times because of this repeat block and it's going to turn um, uh, pin 8 on for a quarter of a second then off for a quarter of a second and then again it's going to loop four times but because this whole thing loops it's actually going to do four times, and then another four times, and then another, another four times. So when we run this, we won't actually see a pause in between each of the four times. So after our repeat four times block, we'll throw in another wait block. And we'll have this wait a little bit longer. Let's have this wait two seconds. So what we should expect right now is we should expect this LED to turn on for a quarter second, off for a quarter second, and then so it should do that four times, one, two, three, four, and then pause for two seconds. Then again, blink four times, one, two, three, four, then pause for two seconds. And so the advantage of using this repeat block is if I ever needed to change this number from four to 100, I can type in 100. It's that simple. I wouldn't need to delete a bunch of blocks. I don't need to highlight. Uh, a, a section, a, a series of blocks and duplicate it and tack it onto the bottom. I simply just change this number. So I'm going to try 6. And that's how you use the repeat block. 